am a ride or die chick when it comes to my basics. In today's video, we are chatting through three ways to wear denim shorts that will never let you down. So if that seems like something you're interested in, just keep on watching. Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome to, if you're new, my name is Bria Perry and welcome to my channel. I run a brand called Thin Style that empowers and encourages individuals to finance a life in a closet they absolutely love. Today, we are chatting denim shorts, how to wear them, how to make them work for you, and how to get the most out of them all season long. So let's go ahead and hop right in. This video is an installment of our Fin Style series, Three Ways to Wear It, that shares with you three ways to get the most out of a particular item in your wardrobe. As always, these are broad categories that you can make work for you. If you like a lighter wash short, get a lighter wash short. If you like a longer wash, uh, I mean a darker wash or a longer cut or a shorter cut, make that work for you. Your fin style is going to be unique to you, your needs, your financial capacity, your lifestyle, all the things. So take everything as an outline and just some ideas slash inspiration on how you can make whatever it is that we are chatting work for you and your personal needs. The shorts that we are styling in today's video are the Goldie Parker denim shorts. They are the long version and I love these shorts to absolute death. I picked them up from Saks this time last year and I have absolutely gotten my cost per wear out of these shorts. I want to say they're about $150 and well worth the price. They came fitting so well, just so comfortable. I sized up to a size 30. I typically wear between a size 28 and 29 in jeans, but I got a 30 because I wanted them to be a little bit of an oversized fit and they were absolutely perfect. What I will say is that I've lost a little bit of weight since I got these jeans and I've had them taken in. So just keep that in mind. I've lost weight and they've stretched because they are denim. So I would say that they run true to size slash you could probably go a size down if need be um, because I went a size up and have ultimately had to get them taken in to basically like what my size is on the smaller range. So just note that when you get these jeans, but I would absolutely say that they are hip thigh butt friendly to a certain extent i am not the curviest girl in the world but i do have athletic thighs and i definitely have to keep that in mind when it comes to my denim because baby the quads be quadded but i love these jeans i cannot recommend them enough so for look number one i decided to style these denim shorts with a scarf which is one of my absolute favorite ways to wear shorts during the summer I love scarves. I think they are one of the most versatile pieces that you can have in your wardrobe, but I will not go on my soapbox today about scarves. What I will say is that if you are new here, get used to seeing me style a scarf all summer long. You've been warned. I have on the Scotch and Soda scarf. I love it. It is a beautiful print. I love all the colors in it. I think it is so, so nice with this super just kind of like distressed, easy denim. And I will wear this look into the ground when I don't know what to wear. This is what I'm throwing on. I decided to put on some chunky dad sandals with this look because they're so easy, they're comfortable, but they're a really nice pop because they're in this really beautiful metallic color. So while they're neutral, they still have a little bit of pizzazz. And I threw on my Bottega Hobo because this is the type of look that I would wear when I need to run errands, when I need to be out, I need to do something, and I need to carry some different things around with me so I love to have bigger bags on days that I know I'm going to be outside for a while and I have a variety of activities going on so my hobo is always perfect for that and I threw on these Tom Ford sunglasses that I picked up from Amazon this time last year I love these to death and they are one of my go-to glasses if you've been following me for a while you have seen these time and time again and that is something that you will truly see with my videos with my content in my everyday life if you run into me you will probably see me wearing something that i have shown you guys in these videos my goal is really to create a wardrobe that has maximum impact for my personal lifestyle and my financial capacity therefore creating my thin style and me deeming it valuable all of the items that i have in my wardrobe i deem valuable and i get constant consistent 
impactful wear out of and it just fits me and what I need and my goal is for you all to be able to say the same. Look number two is for my neutral girls. I would not consider myself to be a neutral girl. I would say if I had to pick a side I would say I'm much more colorful but I do tend to kind of be in the middle um, where I love base colors, I love solid colors, I love neutrals, and I love adding a pop. But I've also been known to wear a fully pink outfit, so that's that. Moral of the story, I don't really like to box myself in. I would say my style is incredibly dynamic, um, and I like it that way. But I wanted to throw in a neutral, just classic, easy look for you all because I know that a lot of people are not fond of color or are trying to become fond of color but just are not quite there yet. But I think that there is something incredibly chic and just consistent and impactful about a black and white look. So we have our same a goldie denim with this bomb tank top y'all. These are my favorite tank tops. I found them back in February in my spring shop with me vlog. If you have not checked that out, definitely do so. They are from Aritzia. They are called the Gallantin Tank. And these are my favorite tank tops that I have ever worn. They are so soft. They are not see-through. They look great with everything. I can wear them for work. I can wear them for play. I can wear them just casually. Like, I love these tanks. They look gorgeous under blazers and suits, but also with a t-shirt. And I truly believe that it is the material that they are made out of. They remind me of these silky tank tops that like my mom and my aunt used to wear back in the 90s that were like a tank top, but they were elevated, right? They're not just your cotton, fruit of the loom, Hanes, tank top, wife beater situation. They are like this nylon-y, silky blend that has a slight sheen to it. And then it has that ribbing. And the ribbing is so intentional it's it's not just like fat ribs like they're very delicate almost like double ribbing like it, it, i don't really know how to explain the texture of it you have to just get them and put it on they're not see-through they feel so good on my skin and i have not had any issues with them stretching out at this point i have the black and the white in multiples and then i also have a spaghetti strap version in the white and they recently came out with it in pink and i will absolutely be getting that as well i am a ride or die chick when it comes to my basics i don't care i don't care i don't care i will pay $80, $100 for a tank top if it means that I never have to look for one again. I kid you all not. There is nothing in this world more frustrating than putting on a white t-shirt that stretches out, shows your bra, you can't get stains out of, looks yucky and mucky in pictures, it's itchy. Like, I just feel like a basic item does not have to lack quality and there are certain things that I am willing to invest in even if it seems astronomical because it is for the convenience right like it is for the convenience of literally never having to try on another white t-shirt never having to waste money on another other type of shirt again because ultimately in the grand scheme of things if you are buying ten dollars t-shirts and you have to buy ten of them in a two-year time frame you could have just gone ahead and bought that one hundred dollar t-shirt because now you have zero <laughs> you bought that ten dollar t-shirt ten times all of them got ruined and you have no t-shirt and you lost a hundred dollars you're out of money <laughs> like, like you're out of money whereas you bought this hundred dollar t-shirt you worn it a hundred times your cost for wear is freaking peanuts and you will never have to wear or look for another shirt ever again in life i'ma go i'ma go with the option over here every single time and this t-shirt is that for me it's not a hundred dollars 
I just use that as a nice, easy round number to let y'all know when it comes to convenience and quality and reliability, I'm gonna pay for it every time because it just makes life that much easier and makes you feel that much more confident and this t-shirt is that for me. This is a black version. Again, it is the Aritzia Galata Tank and I will leave it linked down below for you all. I threw it on with this sheer, chiffony, beautiful white overshirt button up which is from a brand called the ballet i believe they're actually a nail care brand but they make this um merch and one of them is this beautiful button up shirt i have it in a pink color as well and i love it because i think it's just so easy to throw over things i can wear it by my spray by itself i can wear it as cover-ups and I just love this top. I love to just throw on a white top over tanks like this with my denim shorts and throw on an easy sandal. This pair is from Zara and they are a great dupe for the Toga Pula. I believe they're called sandals, which run a, I would say more on like the seven, $800 um, side of the house. And I honestly just could not find them in my size, but I honestly wasn't sure if I wanted to even spend the money on the shoes. So when I saw this on Zara, I was like, you know what, this is a perfect, alternative for me is at an accessible price point and if i wear these into the ground i would consider investing in the other pair i threw on a little necklace which is a choker from zara but you can find anything similar um probably already in your closet and then i just put on a black tote bag this is my Givenchy and you're going to mini i love this bag it has a crossbody strap which would also be great for this look i love looks like this because i can wear them to things like family cookouts i can wear them again to run errands just on a normal day but this is the perfect look when you want to be comfortable chic and you really really do not want to have to think about what you're wearing you don't want to have to worry about anything being messed up it's just easy it's not quite workout clothes you're not quite dressed up you're just somewhere in the middle ready to tackle your day so this is look number two for three ways to style denim shorts and last but certainly not least i threw on my favorite frankie shop sweatshirt hoodie short sleeve thingy i don't even know what to call this shirt it's just like a massive oversized hoodie with shoulder pads i have it in black and gray i've been black and gray and i have worn this thing in the brown i've had it for i want to say going on three years now and i love it so very much we have on our same denim in my gucci platform um sandals these sandals are so controversial but i personally love them i don't find them to be uncomfortable i've had them for three years now and I'm still wearing them. This will be my third summer wearing them and I have no intention of letting them go anytime soon. I personally like them. I mean, I wear heavy boots and things all the time. So it could just be that I'm accustomed to it. I also have very, very narrow feet. So I don't have any issues with them pinching because my feet actually have extra space on the side and more so than anything that was the initial biggest issue that I had with them but I put gel insoles in them like I do with a lot of my sandals because I just have very narrow flat feet and that is something that I just have to do standardly once I did that me and these sandals have been rocking with each other like I said for three years so I threw on my favorite denim platform sandals with this and I also decided to throw in a little bit of a pop of color with this Brandon Black crossbody. I love this. This is one of their little mini totes and she is so precious in this beautiful blue metallic color. I will be wearing this all summer long. Like I'm very excited about this bag. I love it. In my hair I actually threw on that scarf from our very first look. Like I told y'all I will wear a scarf into the ground. I think it is the ultimate accessory clothing item that ever lived on this earth <laughs> and for glasses i threw on these ray-ban aviators that i picked up from Saks office they are stunning they are slightly kind of sheer but they still have that polarization to them where they black out the sun but i can still wear them inside and be perfectly fine i think they are so fun and just an easy little twist on a regular aviator and this is our third look i would wear this on a normal day and this is great for like 
just rooftops, grabbing drinks with friends, doing things like going to breweries or beer gardens, you know, things like that where you're outside, you want to be cute, but you want to be casual and you kind of don't know where the day is going to take you. I love wearing outfits like this that are comfy, easy, functional, <laughs> but fashionable. So this is our look number three for three ways to wear denim shorts. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely consider sticking around and joining the Fin Style fam. We would love to have you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, Pinterest, and Instagram if you enjoyed and want to stay connected. We have so much fun, honestly, on every platform. <laughs> And I love to chat with y'all, so definitely feel free to shoot me a DM anytime. Leave me a comment, send me a message, carry your pigeon, whatever, y'all. Reach out. I love talking to y'all. Like, I just love it. So that brings us to the end of this video. Definitely stick around for our next. Peace.